Hey guys, welcome back to The Interceptor, and we are going to be here with another Alliance War video. This is Alliance War Season 30, number 6. Let me play the video. There we go. And uh, Ice Way Day has matched up against Savage Squad. So we are on a little bit of a winning streak, hoping to keep it up. Um, I personally have never lost to Savage Squad. Um, I faced them in Elite. I faced them in D69. And now I'm facing them in Ice Way Day. They were never... Uh, I don't believe I ever matched them when I was in ASR. Um, but yeah, I was uh, extremely, extremely worried about that Doom fight. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a fun fight. So today we have the team of Quake, uh, Magic, and Mr. Fantastic. So all of our f all of our attackers are five stars, other than Mr. Fantastic, who's just here for pre-fights. Uh, originally, I was supposed to put two pre-fights on my own fights and two pre-fights on someone else's fights, but they decided to take their fight while I was sleeping at like 4 a.m. for me. So there's no like my the path wasn't clear until like five minutes before then. So there's no way I could have put pre-fights on at that time of the morning. But they soloed their fight, so it's all right. So now we're going to go into section one. Um, most of our war is quake fights. So I have five fights this war. I was actually assigned seven fights, but I'll t we'll talk about that later. Um, I have five fights this war. And you see, like, I'm using much bigger boost than I would normally use in section one. And, nor and normally in section one, when I have ghost fights specifically, I use small tech boosts, 15%, 10%, 15%. And that's, like, my standard uh, section one boosts. Um, although actually both times that I've died in section one this season, I have been, uh, boosted bigger, which is just, uh, weird. But anyways, we do have, uh, this Punisher on the first node, and this is the Kinetic Transference node. Um, and this is a very, very straightforward fight. It actually wasn't that long of a fight, so I only sped it up by, uh, 50%. But the other Quake fights are longer, so I'm going to speed them up by uh, 100%. Well, like, I'll, I'll double the speed, you know what I mean. This one I only added, or I only made it 50% faster instead of... Whatever. Um, anyways. Um, like, I only put in 1.5 speed is what I mean. So that f it's a pretty quick one. And the next one's actually the most important fight, so I'm going to turn off my face cam. So, before I go into this fight, uh, this is the most cancerous node on the whole map. This is by far the hardest node, um, and it was actually changed uh, very recently because it used to be a completely irrelevant node that no one ever died to, literally ever. And then they just changed it, and now it's the hardest node on the whole map. So, um, yeah, that's fun. But basically what it is, is it's got Brute Force, um, which is just a great start. And then it has the single worst node in the entire game, Vivified. There is literally not one single node that is worse. Do Not Go Gentle is, someone, is, is something that people usually compare. They're like, this is the worst node. You're insane. Do Not Go Gentle is so easy compared to Vivified. It is just the worst thing in the entire game. And they brought it to Alliance War, so yay. Basically what Vivified does is it prevents you from draining the opponent's power. So they're immune to power steal, power burn, and power drain. So originally when I was assigned this fight, I was told to use magic. Or sorry, I was told to use Quake. And uh, Quaking this fight is very, very sketchy because... You, uh, because of class advantage, you only lose half of your health from brute force. But if you let off a single heavy attack or you get hit a single time in the fight, you are dead. Instantly dead. So I was so worried about just making the smallest mistake with Quake uh, because I, brute force takes me down to 40% with half suicides with Quake and then one hit from Doom easily gets me under 18% for uh, Assassin and I'm dead. Or if I let off a heavy, I take Brute Force again and I die. So that's not a good option. Um, well, like Quick is a good option, but I'm saying I didn't love that idea. So I said, I know that Doom's immune to 
power burn or power drain, but or power steal actually in Magic's case sort of. Um, it, Magic's special two does not work the way her description says. It, her description is incorrect. I've talked about this multiple times. It's a really niche thing that the way it works. Um, and I know that I'm not going to be able to steal power, but my thought was if I can keep up the power lock and get him not throwing special attacks, um, then I would be home free pretty much. So that was the idea. So I put on half suicides to help with my power back. I'm going to put on a petrification ray, and I'm also going to put on a suppression field. Uh, these are both going to be considerably important, uh, or very important to this fight. Um, one, uh, the, what's it called? The petrify is going to prevent aura from triggering because doom cannot trigger aura while, uh, he's petrified. Um, and then the suppression is just going to help me get there. Also for this war, I maxed, um, I maxed the mastery that allows me to gain or, or sorry, uh, reduce the opponent's power gain while they're stunned so i made sure to only hit them while they're stunned for a while uh but right there i'm already down uh i'm already down to 60 percent uh there we refresh the mr fantastic debuffs and i'm like yeah this is gonna be a scary fight uh, i took some brute force damage baiting out that l2 as well i'm gonna take a little more brute force damage right here um but like it's not going bad um we're slowly recovering to, and we actually do get to the point where we are winning this this fight, the health race at one point. Um, uh, I need to get in my heavy attack, but instead I got my L2 to do the knockdown, bait out that L1. Uh, but the biggest problem in this fight is Doom's crit resistance. I don't think I get a crit on a special 2 a single time this entire fight, which is just awesome. Uh, so there we throw a heavy attack to reset it, we bait L1s. Um, and yeah this fight is just it's so sketchy um but we're managing right we're managing we're we uh i think i think that i would have probably won this fight if i had three out of three recoil on i think i would have won i don't know that for sure and then right here my petrifies fall off which means that his l1 is going to give him aura which means i'm going to get a shock on me when i'm nullified which is just fun. So at this point, I'm like, yeah, I gotta go full intercept style. I cannot afford to take this block damage. Um, and what I realize here is I am not going to be able to get to throw my L2 the whole fight. I just won't be able to throw it, um, and I have to deal with that. Um, I I have to throw an L3. So the on at this moment, I realize. The only way I'm coming out of this fight is if I just bait these L1s, keep brute force off of me, try not to get shocked, and um, and throw an L3. And that's the way I thought that I'd win this fight. Uh, because at this point, I'm still losing. We are going to get to the point where we are winning, however. Like right here, I hit a sweet intercept. Uh, and then right here, I throw my special 3 because he is at 2 bars. And while I could have fully evaded it, I'm pretty confident fully evading it. You see, at this point, 8% left. I'm winning. Um, let me pause it. Pause it. Uh, no, I'm going to pause it right out, coming out of my L3. See, so yeah, I, I was actually winning uh, the health race after my L3 right here. So as you can see there, I throw my special 3 when he is at 2 bars of power. If you don't know the way that magic works, her special attacks do not give the opponent power. However, the node vivified plus 100% combat power rate, I thought that the game would take magic's 0% and bump it up to 100. Turns out, it's like multiplying z it's like multiplying 0 by 2. Um so they still gain no power. And so what I end up doing is I realize, okay, after this L3, he's probably going to be at his L3, which means I have to dash in instantly if I want even the slightest chance to kill. And I actually land an intercept right here. Um, and at this point right there, I'm winning at 8 to 5% health. He throws his L3. This would kill me from full health. 100%. Guaranteed, this kills me from full health. So we get so close. 
So close. 5% left on Doom. And I die. Now, a few things would have won me this fight. Number one, uh, boosting up with a 30% boost. I would have won this fight. Now, there's no way I could have known that. Um, I boost, the way I usually boost is I look at my fights if they're in section one and I have to boost twice in the war and the fight is easy, then I'll use a 10%. If it is, if it is uh, like mediocre or hard, I'll use a 20%. And I've never used a 30% boost in section one before, unless I was taking all of my fights at once. So there, um, I think I still had my special one boost active, so we use it there. But it's just, I feel like everything that's happening in this season is just coming together in the worst way for me. Like, I know I'm playing badly, but it just feels like one-off fights that I'm fighting badly. I feel like this whole season, other than the three fights I've died to, I have not had a single fight that was sketchy. Like, I have not even come remotely close to dying in a single other fight. I don't think I've ended a fight below 60 to 70%, other than the fights I've died to. So it's like one-off fights that I'm dying in, and I don't know, I just, I know obviously I'm having a bad season. This is, uh, actually with this death in this war, I officially have my worst season since season 22. In the last eight seasons, I have died, well actually technically it's seven, uh, in the last seven seasons, I have died two times or less every single season every single season for the last seven seasons and then the one before i died i think it was four or five um it was not a good season but like i moved to this new alliance and usually when i'm in a new alliance i'm great in my first season for example in asr i had a deathless season in my first season uh, and then in the next 12 wars of the the next season i only died once so usually i'm great in a new alliance but i don't know what's wrong with me i'm just not playing well and if i continue to die like this i deserve to be kicked from the alliance and i know that i know that um i can't continue to play like this if i want to stay in isolate a who is a great alliance um i need to pick myself up and start playing a lot better um and i i think that it's it's matchups like the matchups are killing me now that is of course not the case in the moleman versus modok because i was using the literal best counter in the game there is no one better for that modok than moleman and i just sucked ass in that fight now in that fight i deserve to die uh because i sucked however the magic versus doom was a really bad matchup and the ghost versus nick fury death was also just a really bad matchup now that doesn't mean they were not winnable they were absolutely winnable but <laughs> i don't know i feel like i'm going in with such bad counters to fights and dying for that reason but it's completely my fault. I, I don't know how to really explain it. Like, it's it's no one's fault but mine. Um, for example, if I used Doom, or sorry, if I used Quake versus that Doom, 90, 90 to 95% chance I come out of that fight completely fine. I throw an, invul an invulnerability boost and the fight with like 45%, 100%. I know, I know that there's a very good chance of that happening. Um, and I don't know why I got scared of quaking brute force. I, I, I mean, obviously I knew the reasons why, but I just didn't really trust myself despite the fact that I have yet to get hit in a single quake fight. I've used quake like 12 times this season and I've never gotten hit. 
So I don't know what's wrong. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here because this is almost the end of the video. Um, so the two fights that I was supposed to have on the mini boss island, I was assigned Penny Parker on the Rage Mini with Quake. And then I was assigned um, uh, Spider Gwen on the special one unblockable um, Hurt Locker Mini. I was assigned that fight with Quake as well. So I was supposed to Quake two fights on the boss island. Um, they actually cleared the boss around 3 a.m., 3 to 4 a.m. my time. Um, so when I went to bed, I saw, I saw there was like one or two other people with Quake. And I said, I don't want to hold you guys up. So if you guys want to clear, just have another Quaker take my fights, please. Um, and then they said, okay. So I went to bed. I woke up. They took it. I'm happy. I do not care about missing two fights whatsoever. Um, I just need to look forward this season and play a lot better because I'm not playing like myself right now. So, oh, all right, let's get into the results of this war. So yeah, I'm just moving up to clear my champions and thank God ice away day went crazy. We only died three times. I was one of three deaths, which is insane. That is such a low death count by far the lowest death count i've seen while i've been here so very very good job to everyone in isolate a uh, for this alliance war like very good job um savage squad they struggled a lot in this war they started out pretty badly dying i think it was like six times in their first i don't know like 80 fights so at that point we knew we had probably won because um i was actually our first death and that was 101 or 102 fights into the war. Um, I was our first death. So after this war, we are at a record of 4-2. and two, And we are actually in 8th place in the world. So we are only uh, 5 spots out of the top 3. So I don't know the records of the alliances in the top 3. I know GT40 is 6-0, and 0, but I don't know about the other 2. Um, but our goal in Ice Way Day is top 10 masters, so as long as we stay here, um, and we keep playing the way that we did this war, because if we play this war, we deserve it, um, we're gonna have a really good shot at it. Now, it, could we get top three? It's possible. We would probably have to upset a bunch of the top alliances. Um, I think we've already lost to PVT this season, but yeah, I think we could do it. I think we have a, a shot at it. Now, uh, this war, actually something interesting, uh, XK9, who you see in fourth place, they had one of their worst wars I've seen in like several seasons. They died 10 times, and they lost to Elite, which is usually not a Masters Alliance. They're usually like a top of Platinum 1 Alliance, although they have been in Masters recently, so good for them. Um, I feel like this is a really long video, uh, just for five fights, but my death total this season is at 3. My PSR is at 29 out of 32. So, I'm, I mean, I'm still at 91%, but usually I'm at like 97, 98. So my goal this season, get it back to 95. Anything above is bonus. That's my goal. 95%, which means I solo 19 out of every 20 fights, which means I would have to get up to 60 fights. So I would need 28 more fights in the last six wars and not die. Very possible. In fact, it's very likely I have more than that. Um, and since we died on our second fight in the war, we are at a deathless streak of three fights now, which is Red Magneto, Claire, and Man-Thing. So yeah, that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.